Welcome guys to this humble channel. And yeah, I'll be showing you how to get your configuration file for SOX IP tunnel. If you go to Play Store, you can just click on SOX, click on your search bar, sorry, and type in SOX IP tunnel. You get this application. You can see here's a green logo. Now, if you check up my bar, I got orange and MTN. Now, with the MTN, there is data, while with the orange, there is no data. Now, for me to create the configuration file for the SOX IP tunnel, so I can access free internet. I need a SIM card which has data for me to access the website which can give me an account for me to import into the SOX IP. Now, all we need to do is now with this one i don't got chrome or google what i have here is my browser i click on it i click on my search bar sorry i left the page open inside the website now we click on fast ssh dot com now look for SSH as you can see here you click on it you create UDP request now you can see here we have France we have SG maybe we have America we have America too and we have SG here these are countries which offers servers to users now you click on France create UDP request as you can see now the first thing you need to do is to verify that you are not a robot because if you don't verify you're not going to create the account now you click on the box for us to verify that we are not a robot okay I got the tick but not all the time you're gonna get this tick yeah you have some pictures and you need to verify now the username you can type in anything let me just type in Rex Rexidoski one one. Why I'm why I'm typing in the one one is because I already created an account with this name, so I need to attach something to it to make it look different. Now, you go to my password. You can just type on anything. Yeah, they'll give you back. They'll give you back whatever thing is. Now. I click on my create account now make sure you have to be ready you have to be ready to do your screenshot you have to be ready yeah. my account is there i just i got my screenshot here i just did my screenshot then leave the website immediately close everything belonging to the website now yeah i have my source ip now there is an account inside my soft IP, so what I need to do is to clear it up for me to import the new one. I go to apps, I go to my soft IP, soft IP, I look for storage, I clear my data up, now come back everything here yeah. okay i'll come back okay the next step what i need to do is i go to my file sorry i left it open i go to my file i click on my phone i go to pictures go to screenshots because i did a screenshot now click in here as you can see yes an account this is the account of which i created you can see they have given me everything that's the username rexidoski11 and the password i key in and i have the server ip address now what i'm going to do is just click on the middle one 
go to my subs IP. I'm doing this because I didn't copy the I didn't copy the information. Now I did a screenshot, so that's why I'm doing this. I go to my subs IP. I wait for it to count. Click on OK. And now here we have a setting. We click on the setting, and now we have request tunnel. Now on the request tunnel, you click on it. You find UDP request. You click on UDP request. Now we have the conf configure UDP request. You click on configure UDP request. You click on free server to go to custom server. You have the enable bling bling. You enable it. You have the server IP. Now with the server IP, what you are going to do is you click this to get your account. Now, as you can see, this is my account. You can see the server IP ADDRO, which stands for address. Now, this is my server IP. I have one nine five yeah i'm gonna key in one nine five point now we go back here i got one five four and one fourteen one five four point one fourteen point because i still got something again so i have one one five now with the username automatically you need to start with the first fsh.com dot com iphone now you come back that is what i key in that is it if you look at it very well you can see the username first ssh.com slash test one one so now we just come here since it's something I already know. I just click in with Sidoski. Yeah, with Sidoski. One, one. Let me go back and check if I'm actually correct because I might make a mistake on the with Sidoski, like the spelling. Okay. 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 Yeah, it's okay. You go to password. Remember. This is my space of password. I keyed in every anything that I like, but yet they still gave me back. So here we have three seven three five three seven. So we have three seven three five three three seven. Yeah, three seven three five three seven two six two six. Now you come to your end port. You click on now what you're going to do here you can see the larger figure you click in this six five five three five after that what you need to do is you can check if your information is okay most especially your server IP yes I got one nine five yeah Point one five four correctly one one four point one one five okay that is okay now you come to the username of my first ssh dot com slash rexy those key one one which is them okay now we come to password you can get three seven three five Three seven two six, which is very very okay. Now, if you take a look at the date created, which is nineteen of June, twenty twenty three, and the date expired twenty sixth of June, that is to tell you that you have a limit of seven days for you to enjoy this free internet. Now. The fact that you have a limit does not mean that the internet is limited it is not limited it is unlimited now remember you can see down here 
account will expire on 26 June 2023. One account is equal to one device. Otherwise, your connection speed will be limited. That is to tell you that if you give out this your file that you are just about to configure to another person to import, your connection will be slow. So sorry for that. You come back here. You click on save setting. Yeah, my setting is this. Everything is this. Yeah, everything is there. Yes. Come back. Now what I need to do is remember. If you look at my data, it's an MTN. An MTN. There's internet on it. Now we don't need a SIM card which has an internet. We need a SIM card which does not have an internet. So we go to setting, go to mobile network, go to SIM management, and we select SIM one. Yeah. So we go back to the application. We click continue. You can see no service. Yeah. So it's back now. This is for me to test if my account is actually you can see your hands tells about you. This is to tell you that you don't have data. <laughs> but unfortunately you're gonna enjoy data. Yeah, you click on start. Just wait for a while. You can see turn air UDP requests connected you can see the key up here you can see the key you can see the key up there yeah so now since it's connected yeah i don't need it to be connected right now because i need to do my import my export for you to do the import or the export you need to stop the video here yeah, click stop yeah i'm through there since i click on i click start and it actually connected that is to tell me that whatsoever thing I in, I I did here was correct. Yeah. So I click there, import or export. Now what I'm doing is export, not import. I don't have a file. Somebody have not yet sent me a file, so I'm doing an export. Export. I have block features. You click on block all. Oh sorry. Ah, sorry. You say allow software to access photos, blah, 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 something like that. Yeah, you allow it. Click on block all. Yeah, just that, just that. Yeah, it depends on you if you want to. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't have any use. Now, yeah, I'm just gonna key in Rexy Tolski. Yeah, please don't mind it because I like the name, that's why. Yeah, why my message here? Yeah, what I'm going to do here is. This message here is to tell you that like if you give your account to somebody yeah you can tell somebody anything now what i usually do here is to like put the expiring date of my account so as to keep me updated yeah so now let me go back there the expiring date is on the 26th of june so since today is nothing or just june 26 yeah so, yeah just like that for me yeah i click export yeah you can see can't say blah blah society web studios keys yeah something like that yeah now if you look at the connection up there you can see orange and there are two arrows yeah there are two arrows now for you to get a good connection these two arrows have to be on yeah if it is just an arrow like one arrow which is there you're gonna have a problem with the connection yeah so as you can see there is just one arrow i click on start I need to test it you can see how the arrow is disturbing like the network the connection don't ever press that now we go to browser we go to browser Click on search box. Click on search box. So wait for Wi Fi. I will click on to be ding because yeah, we don't have to, to, to be ding. 
Welcome. Just one CDD, press it. Once you begin. So it's taking me back here. Yeah. It's taking me back to shop items. Let's try to get the website. That's what the browser is. your connection is not strong enough to carry it it isn't going to work I got CBD yeah, you can see that is my CBD you can see CBD it's all about music yeah you can get music there you can download music Whatever thing that you like to do, you can get it from CBD like music, highlights of videos, messy, blah blah blah. blah, blah. I'm a fan of messy, so let me just click on messy. Messy world. Sorry. World Cup Gold. actually slow right now that's a really bad weather here that's why you can see i have every junior messi goal from the 2022 world cup the world cup i have Lionel messi all world cup goals 2022 world cup goals and assists blah, blah, blah. this is to tell you that it actually works it actually works yeah you can click on the first one this is to tell you that there's an internet connection and everything is going smoothly yeah, if you don't believe it, you can click on any CBD. If you don't have data, just click on CBD on your browser and see if it's gonna open. It's not gonna open if there's no data. Yeah, click on the video. I'm going to get the video, not the audio. <laughs> and click on play video. You can click on download. See finding blah blah blah. Let me see something like download. Don't download. Download now. Yeah. I need to download at least. That's all. That's all. You can see look up you can check up there. You can check up here. This is it. Yeah. This is it. Browser. Like I said, the connection is actually slow. You can check up here. You can see how it's blinking. Oh, thank you guys thank you very much please i'd like you to leave a comment if you got any problem and please hit the subscribe button yeah thank you